Welcome to our segment on setting up your metronome. Select Transport, Metronome Setup, and the Metronome Setup window will appear. From here, you can choose when your metronome is going to be on. During recording, during playback, or during both. You can create your own count base here. Under the Pre-Count Options section, you can set the number of pre-count bars. When Use Time Signature at Project Time is active, this means the pre-count clicks will follow the tempo track. Or you can set your own time signature for pre-count clicks here. The metronome sound can be generated by a MIDI device. VST Instruments, for example. Click OK. And let's activate the VST Instruments. Select Devices. VST Instruments. I'm going to use Hypersonic from Cubase. In Channel 10, I'll be loading a drum loop. Close this window and close the VST Instruments window. Return to the metronome setup. Here you can see my hypersonic and next to it MIDI channel 10 is set as our default channel. The reason for this is that channel 10 is usually reserved for drums and the drum sound is of course suitable for metronome clicks. The high note you hear, this is the first beat of a bar. And the lower notes are all the beats in the bar besides the first one. You adjust your velocity here. Click OK and let's check our results. Activate the metronome click and the pre-count click. and then press record. The last section of the metronome setup window is the audio click. The beeps are sounds generated by Cubase. You can adjust the volume, and the pitch of these beeps here for both the high and low notes. Like in the MIDI click section, the high note is the sound of the first beat in the bar and the lower notes represent the rest of the beats. The sounds options area lets you use your own audio file as a source of clicks. Click OK, and let's check the results. This concludes our segment on the metronome setup.